Hi everyone, welcome to our channel, Rebecca, Stu, and the crew. I'm Rebecca, today's Thursday, so we're going to be doing a Dollar Tree DIY, and we will be making these faux glass pumpkins. They're so easy, so let's go over our supplies first. We'll need one of these chopping mats. They come in a two pack in the kitchen section. We'll need two packs of these clear shower curtain rings. We'll need 16 for each pumpkin, and one of the half ounce um, glass jars. They're the mini glass jars in the crafting section. We're also going to use one of these little crystals that come in the mesh bags, some floral wire, scissors, and something to write with. Some needle nose pliers or some tweezers will work really well here. And you'll need some hot glue and either some pearls or pearl stems, some berry garland or greenery. It's really up to you. So let's get crafty. So the first thing we're going to do is take 16 of our shower curtain rings, our hot glue gun, and a mini jar with the lid pointed towards the top. And we're going to start gluing on the shower curtain rings all the way around the glass jar to create our pumpkin. So you can make this as full as you want, or you can leave it a little bit more sparse. As you can see here, all I'm doing is gluing the shower curtain rings on at first in a plus pattern. If you just wanna do this, you can make sure you're gluing them straight across from each other. It really helps make the whole pumpkin a little bit more uniform and um, it just looks nicer when you're done for the finished project. So here's the first four done. And then we still have these spaces between each one of those shower curtain rings. So that's what we'll do here with the next four. We're going to glue those right to the center um, in between each one of the rings that are already on there. And we're just going to fill in those spaces. So that's going to be our first eight shower curtain rings. And it looks nice like this. You can really leave it like this if this is how you like it. Um, like I said, you can leave it a little bit more sparse or you can really fill it in. I think they look nice both ways. So as you can see, here's the first eight. And I wanted mine to be a little bit more full, so I'm going to add eight more rings. So to do this, there's not really any space left on the jar itself. So this is where you'll need to glue the rings so that they're touching both sides of the shower curtain ring that it is next to. And you want to be mindful that you're gluing the opening where the shower curtain ring where you pop it together, that you're gluing that all into the center to help hide those openings. And when you add these extra um, shower curtain rings, they stick out just a hair further than the other rings do. And I think it helped make it look a little bit more realistic just by having it not be perfectly round, just with a little bit more of like, um, you know, the ridges sticking out like a normal pumpkin would do. So just keep working your way around until you have all 16 of the rings on your jar. Now that we have all 16 done, we're going to take a piece of that floral wire. If you could find it in the silver, which they do have it out right now in the silver. I just saw some yesterday. Um, that really helps to hide it so you don't see it. But this is just to help make this a lot more secure. So the hot glue on glass doesn't work really long term and it was sticking really well but i just wanted to make sure it held long term so you just want to stick that wire through the center of all of the shower curtain rings and then grab both ends and twist so once you have it kind of secured there you want to take either the needle nose pliers or a pair of tweezers and just keep twisting until you feel those shower curtain rings pull nice and tight to the jar and you can definitely feel a difference of how much more secure these are once you have them tied down with the wire. Once you have that all twisted off, just go ahead and cut off the excess and tuck the end down um, into the little spaces there between the plastic. And here's what it looks like with the wire attached. And then we're going to go ahead and just remove the lid to this jar because we're not going to need that. And go ahead and save that. They make nice little feet to like um, trays and things if you want to use those in a different craft project. So now what we're going to do is take a piece of that cutting mat and we're going to draw some leaves on it that we're going to cut out. Now you want to make them not too small. You want to make them big enough because we're going to end up folding these and you want them big enough that when you fold them, um, they don't shrink down too much and they fit more, you know, 
to the pumpkin. You don't want them super tiny, but you don't want them huge either. So as you can see, once we have these cut out, you're just going to fold it right down the center. And this is going to create a darker white line. So that's going to create the vein that goes up the center of the leaf. And then on the ends, you just want to fold them at an angle towards the center. And that's going to create the veins on either side of the leaves. And it just helps give it a more realistic look. I was really racking my brain what I was going to use for the leaves. I didn't want anything too dark and I didn't want anything real colorful on them since the shower curtain rings were just the plain white. And this really worked out well. I just had some scraps of them laying around that I had been using the larger mat for another project. So these really worked out well. So now we're just going to attach these with some hot glue. And the nice part about the leaves is we don't have to worry about adding any extra um, wire or anything to hold these on because they're plastic, the rings are plastic, and it really holds nice with the hot glue. And I actually made three of these pumpkins and I glued the um, leaves on in all different kind of patterns on the pumpkins. Now we'll take one of those little crystals that they sell at the Dollar Tree and those mesh bags. And we're just going to glue that right inside the jar to close off the top piece of our stem. And they fit perfectly in these half ounce jars. Then we're going to take these pearl stems. I actually had these left over from another craft project, but you could use um, just regular pearls. Dollar Tree sells those. You could also use their berry garland. Um, they sell that. They have that out right now for fall. So those will work well here. I just wanted something white that blended in well here, which is why I'm going to use the pearls. If I didn't have these, I would have just used the regular pearls that Dollar Tree has. They're kind of hard to put in. They want to fall a little bit just because my glue was taking a little bit longer to dry. So those tweezers or needle nose pliers, if you're using those, they'll come in handy here to help position the pearls in place. And then to hide where the jar um, attaches to the shower curtain ring, I added some more of the pearls around here just using some hot glue and I just kind of filled in the spaces and that helped if there was any pieces of the shower curtain ring where that opening is at um, on the ring. It kind of helped hide it and disguise it from the top. So if anyone's looking at it really close from the top, those pearls just kind of help it all blend in together. So you could choose to fill this in with twine or ribbon, pearls, other beads, maybe even some glitter. There's lots of options you could do here. So I just worked my way all the way around, just adding some pearls where I felt it needed to be, or they needed to be. And that is the whole pumpkin complete. They're actually bigger than they look in the picture here. So then to style these, I had these wood pieces from Hobby Lobby. They're just wood slices and I stacked them up at different heights and then I just arranged them. They would be really pretty as a centerpiece on a table or in an entryway. Just so cute. I love how these turned out. I hope you guys do too. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed learning how to make these pumpkins, I would encourage you to check out some of our other Dollar Tree DIY videos. I try to use mainly items from the Dollar Tree as much as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And here are some other videos from our channel you might also enjoy.